Stephanie Gamolka, Oxygen.com correspondent, and I'm joined with the one and only Paul Holes, who is also the host of The Weekend, Paul. That's correct. Are you excited? I'm very excited. <laughs> so tell me about what you're taking part in CrimeCon this weekend. Well, you know, uh, I, I have a couple of live events that I'm doing. Uh, with Oxygen, I've got a new show coming out called The DNA of Murder. So I've got a live event here at CrimeCon where I'm going to introduce the audience to what that show is about. And then I've also got a live podcast with Billy Jensen called The Murder Squad that we're going to do here. That's so cool. In terms of the DNA of murder with Paul Holes, what are some of the new things that you want to bring into a series like that? Well, with, with the DNA of murder, this is a concept that I, I kind of developed with the production company, and, and, and it's the way that I work with cases. You know, with the DNA of murder, I'm actually going into law enforcement agencies that have unsolved cases and bringing my expertise and experience to try to see if we can't help them get the cases solved. And part of the show is, is going to the crime scene and walking the audience through how I interpret the crime scene uh, and then how that provides investigative leads and how it gives insight into the offender's behaviors. Right. And who are some of the people that you're working with on the show? Is it with local law enforcement or, you know, changing well, up? We absolutely are working with, with local law enforcement. We're working with victims' families. Uh, but we also have experts coming in. So I've worked with uh, Lonnie Coombs for a couple of cases so far, as well as uh, Yolanda McClary, who's a crime scene uh, expert from Las Vegas. Yeah, that'll be great for some, uh, you know, OG Cold Justice fans as well to see her. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, so she is cool. bringing that Cold Justice uh, contingent over, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. And in terms of... Um, you know, you have so much experience here on Oxygen. We know you worked with Lonnie before um, for Rebecca Zahao, which is airing, you know, um, in the Saturdays within this month. But there's been some recent changes with companies like Jedmatch, which was kind of used for the Golden State Killer case to find the alleged suspect, and that trial is still ongoing. But what do you think about, you know, users now having to opt in to have their records um, accessed and what that means for law enforcement? Well, you know, on, on a personal level, I, I actually don't have any issues with this informed consent stance that Jedmatch has taken. But I, I, I think on a bigger picture, it's more it, how decision makers moving forward are going to take a look at this tool, you know, because it is a balance between public safety and privacy. And I truly believe that once decision makers are educated about what the technique is and what it isn't, they'll understand that the privacy concerns that a lot of people are putting out there really aren't there. And that's part of just moving forward as a society as we debate this. We just want to make sure it's an informed debate. Educate yourselves and then make a decision. Mm -hmm. So kind of balancing that for privacy, but also using it still for these cases. Absolutely. Yeah. In terms of the murder, Scott, I know we talked before it launched. Now it's way more than a few episodes in, and we talked with Billy earlier about um, the Allentowns 4. I want to ask you about your opinion on the Delphi murder update. So do you agree with investigators with holding some of the information, like the manner of death, or what's been going out so far in terms of pushing some new video out? Right. You know, anytime you're dealing with an investigation, you're always assessing what can be released to the public and what you have have to hold back. And law enforcement, when they hold back information, it's not to keep the public in the dark. It really is to help benefit the case. Now, I can't speak specifically about the inside information, the inside decision making that the investigators involved in Delphi are doing. Uh, however, reading it from afar, you know, I can kind of see a strategy develop as they're moving forward. And knowing a little bit about that case, because I briefly consulted with one of the investigators short, shortly after the Golden State Killer case, I know that they have a they have a tough investigation ahead, and they're doing everything they possibly can to try to get that case solved. Yeah, it's a tough case. Um, and so, you know, at CrimeCon here, we see some people stopping at the booth. We know you're the host of the weekend, and a lot of people are excited to see you. What is your favorite part about taking part in an event like CrimeCon? Well, you know, I, I think, you know, my favorite part, and, and this is what I experienced last year, is just really meeting the people. It, you know, it's, it's just one of those things where I had no idea something like this existed until I retired. And then it was like, well, what, who are these people that are actually coming to CrimeCon? And you find out they're just great people. They're interested in the same things I'm interested in. I just happen to be interested from a law enforcement perspective. They're interested from a civilian perspective, but we all have the same goal. Mm -hmm. And so another thing that uh, attendees get to do is they go to the phone booth over there that's um, from Oxygen, and they get to pick who they would call that is Oxygen talent if they were you know, hit with a crime, they're booked, they need some help. So there's Paul Holes, there's Nancy Grace, there's Lonnie Coombs, there's Ice-T, there's the uh, there's the cold justice crew, martinis and murder. Who would Paul Holes be calling? 
Yeah, it wouldn't be Billy Jensen, because I think he'd probably end up having a longer uh, stay in jail if he responded. Um, no, Lonnie Coombs. Wow, why? Tell you me know, why. She's got the prosecutorial experience. Uh, I, I've worked with her, I'm familiar with her, and so I would be ecstatic to have her represent me. That's great. Lonnie actually also picked you, and Billy picked Lonnie as well. So yeah. I think Lonnie is the person I'm going to end up calling as well, just yeah. because it seems to be the, I would the, recommend sa that. the safer choice there. Um, thank you so much, Paul, for joining us. I know you're a busy guy this weekend as the host and so many panels going on in the podcast. Um, you know, we're excited to see the DNA of murder and how that goes out. We also can watch Paul Holes now on Oxygen with Death at the Mansion, Rebecca Zahau, working with Billy Jensen and Lonnie Coombs. But if you're in trouble, call Lonnie Coombs.